Modern and survey maps provide an accurate visual picture of the ground, as seen from above, scaled down from life size. They use symbols as well as words to provide a rich level of detail about our surrounding environment, such as landmarks, points of interest, or even the type of vegetation, for example, marshland. You'll find all these symbols housed within the legend or key. In this video, we'll be focusing on the OS Explorer Maps range, which uses a scale of 1 to 25,000. These maps use a range of different symbols to show public rights of way, open access areas in England and Wales, and core paths in Scotland. Symbols on other maps may be different. So let's start with public rights of way. What are they, and how are they shown on the map? Public rights of way are legally protected routes that the public can use. They include footpaths, bridleways and byways. A public footpath is marked by a green dashed line. These paths may cross private land, so you must make sure to keep to the footpath. Bridleways are marked on the map using a longer green dashed line. You can use these routes on foot or horseback. And cyclists are also allowed, but must give way to others. And then we have byways. You'll see these routes marked by a green dashed line of cross symbols. Unlike other rights of ways, these are open to all forms of traffic, including cars. So keep this in mind when planning your route. Now that we've covered public rights of way, let's take a closer look at some other types of public access. First, we have recreational routes. These are marked by a line of green dashed diamonds and they typically follow existing rights of way. Next, we have traffic free cycle routes. These are marked by an orange dotted line on Explorer Maps and include a red network number if they're part of the National Cycle Network or a National Cycle Route. You might also notice routes with a green acorn or thistle symbol marked on your map or legend. These are longer distance routes, known as national trails in England and Wales, marked by an acorn symbol, and Scotland's great trails marked by a thistle symbol. Some of these routes may only be open to walkers, whereas others are open to cyclists and horse riders. But you can check with the National Trails Officer for the route if you're unsure. On the map legend, you'll also notice a section labelled Communications, which covers roads, paths and railways. A blue line indicates a motorway, with the motorway number listed above. A thicker red line indicates a dual carriageway, and a single red line shows a main road. Pathways are marked by a dotted black line. It is worth always checking the meaning, as they do not necessarily indicate a public right of way. Railways are often easy to identify. A black line marks a multiple track railway, and a black and white line is used to mark a single track. If you're planning a safe place to cross on your journey, look out for the level crossing symbol, which is marked by a black line with two shorter red lines crossed through. Hopefully now you feel more confident identifying public rights of way, public access areas and roads, paths and railways. Remember that every route is unique, so give yourself time to study the map symbols carefully to keep yourself safe and ensure you're getting the most out of your walk. <laughs>